right? And he says, uh, after contemplating for a bit, I do believe the contract was for um, 200,000 credits on the, on arrival. And where did you want this these uh, beautiful art pieces to go? It's uh, on the contract already. So you have it on the cargo manifest. Oh, uh, do we? Okay, good. I wasn't sure. And okay, can I look at the cargo manifest to just remind myself? Yeah, sure. It's in. Uh... Now I have to find my notes again. Damn it! <laughs> I was looking at the the princess bubble gum there for a moment. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're all looking at Princess Bubblegum for a minute. <laughs> looking at her eyes, right? Yes, Red eyes. 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 All four of them. Yeah, it's in the um, Alexis Prime. Ah, we'll go back to Alexis Prime. Shipment okay. there. Okay, great. It's the largest trade hub in the is, oh yes, I've I've so been there before. It makes sense to 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 have it go there. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe maybe the people at um what's it called at uh, Therion Four wanted some anime goodies. It's right next door to us. They have all these Tech Five things, but do they have Season Three of Princess Robot Bubblegum? I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, the only way to know for sure is to go there and ask. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with me. But yeah, the that uh, the anime delivery is uh, to Calixis uh, again. All right, sounds good. All I believe right. I refueled the ship and all that, so I don't have to do all that right now. Yeah, it, I think all of that's fixed. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I guess I'll just go look for Ben and see if I can also ask around just to find out how the all the you know all the news, everything's going on. That's what we're up to. Make sure to lock oh, yeah. up the ship. That, that news thing. So yeah, you uh, lock up the ship and head out investigating. So Ben, can you do me a charisma and talk, please? If you just want to have a casual conversation with a couple of people, civis around, or, or maybe some military people, gather us me intel. Hmm, doing good today. Hey, as long as we're doing good and helpful, just doing bad, I'm happy. No, that's the question. So, that role. Yeah, yeah, I think they know, and then they make the choice. I think that's how it goes. Excellent. I, I fixed it. I figured it out. All right, so, Ben, what were you asking? Is it the just general state of things, or was it anything specific? Yeah, so I'm going to go to the people who look uh, civilian in the uh, spaceport, maybe other people from other ships or maybe people who work there. And uh, I'm gonna start off by making small talk and then ask them, uh, the main information I'm looking for is uh, how long do they does do people think the um, embargo is going to last or the no-fly uh, time? And uh, the other question I wanna ask is how things are doing in the capital. Like are things getting crazier or are they starting to calm down? So I think, yeah, so every hangar, depending on the, the ship and such, uh, the one you have, so most of the hangars here on the, the planet side, there is a spaceport in, or in orbit as well, but on the planet side, uh, it's usually maybe two or three ships, depending on the size, that can land or assign to each hangar. So you pro your ship probably shares hangar with one other free merchant ship hanging out and you see their their crew and maybe some dock workers hanging out you know, around the you know maybe a couple of tool crates or something like that you know drinking smoking hanging out you walk over to them and it's probably like 
having the right people. Uh, none of them armed. Maybe two of them are a dock worker. You know, they have the own mechanics. They have the tool belt and orange coveralls. And then, yeah, the six others are crew of the free merchants, you know, wearing, you know, individual clothing. One, maybe one is uh, free, free men, free women. Two, uh, two of them is wearing like appropriate anime garb, you know, kimonos and whatnot. And the others are just leather clothing, you know, uh, trench coat, leather vest, pants, you know, the uh, assortment of clothing, yeah, you know, and skin skin tones as well, and hides, M mixed uh, misery, as it were. Um, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I was gonna say uh, I want to contact Brody and Ben you know, on the combat if I'm not near them, and ask if we want to get a drive upgrade three for our ship. Because I believe a, a four or higher is a T5 thing. So I believe a drive up with three might be available in this system, which would make our trips a lot shorter. So we can do a lot more training and things, interplanetary training and stuff. I want to just get their input. It is going to cost uh, 20K to do that. So, for, you know, I don't want to make that decision by myself. Gotta spend money to make money. Exactly what I was thinking. So I'll wait for text replies, I guess, from both of them. Yeah. So uh, Ben, mid conversation, you you get a text message. But yeah, the so fuck my memory so bad. Sorry okay. about that. So the, the, first, the, the first thing you wanted was find out uh, how long they think this is gonna last. The shutdown's gonna last, and the second one was just the general state of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think, uh, as far as they've been told, and you know, they sharing a drink with you as you come into the circle, and they say, uh, one of them says, as "Far as we've been told, you know, it lasts as as long as the king wants. If you want to leave uh, before the military." Pacification efforts are uh, done. You have to seek court approval. And uh, yeah, the man uh, scowls as he says that. So if you don't have the, the king's favor, then you're probably going to stay here for a while. All right. Um, and uh, as for the general state of things, do things look like they're getting more chaotic or do they look like they're starting to calm down? As far as uh, it says, um, as far as they know, and maybe they're having like interjecting in each other. Uh, but yeah, the general state of thing is the capital is calming down a bit. There has been a lot of heavy fighting in towards the outskirts where some of the, the noble families had holdings before. Uh, that were the, the families that were removed from uh, from uh, nobility. They put up a valiant effort, but have been resoundly crushed. Okay, I see. In, in their holdings in the capital, at least. So the, the fighting in the capital has more or less died down. There is you know, still pockets of, of uh, dissent, but for the most part, it's, uh, it's good. Uh, the main bulk of the army and you know this to be, and you also hear them mention that they have seen a contingents of um, what is essentially power armor, uh, uh, power armor soldiers, and gra a, a very large, a sizable grab tank formation that has been uh, steamrolling through uh, the rebels' uh, holdings towards the east. The capital. So while the capital itself is more or less safe, or as safe as it ever gets here, the eastern side is more or less in open civil war at this point, and there's heavy fighting going on over there. All right. 
and they also start talking about and as as they start talking about fighting they they make a mention in that there's been some pretty violent you know pretty severe violence have been breaking out in the Rockford province and there is a there is a battalion on on its way to pacify the region again and they 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 all of them just speculate wildly speculating what could be the cause of such a such a nonsense going on in there All right. Um, sorry. What was uh, was there something else with that last part, no, or was that it? Just, they, yeah, that's just it. They, well, you know, as the news have been coming in. I mean, you have heard the news as well. You know, the the violence, the escalating violence in the Rockford province, and they're speculating as to why, because the nobility there were never stripped of their holdings or titles or anything. So there's really no reason why. There would be unrest up there, but you know, soldiers have been sent to keep track of things and pacify it. All right, yeah. So, um, after you know, thirty minutes or however long it takes to gather information, an hour maybe, um, I eventually uh, meet back up with um, uh, Vel. I assume. So I was just writing a few things on chat if you guys want to look, if we want to add any of those. Don't know if we want everything, but some of those might be useful to our ship. Yeah, fuel scoops definitely sound yeah, pretty so good. It would, I think the way fuel scoops will work is like if we run out of fuel, we can go like sublight to a star, maybe take like a few hours to scoop energy and then refuel our refuel that way yeah the fuel bunkers i believe are 2.5k for each one and then each one will add one more fuel storage the other two are more later on the extended life support and the extended stores those i think are if we ever going to do like any kind of salvage operation right but the yeah. fuel bunkers and the fuel schools might be a good thing to pick up I know it's spending a little more money, but that means you know we can travel further, and we won't have to be worried about ever getting stuck. So there's a couple of things with that map that you have there. Mm -hmm. So first of all, everything about that is um, multiplied by ten, because it's a frigate well, class ship. It literally says that in the if you look on the ship fitting. It's the second paragraph. Some costs are marked by with an asterisk. These costs are multiplied by ten when the fitting oh, is installed and we have in a, frigate? a frigate class. Yeah, so you have Do a frigate have a fr class. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, three merchants are frigates. So that oh. uh, that uh, drive free upgrade is two hundred thousand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well. All right, I guess none of this uh, fuel scoops are 25k fuel. Okay, so forget it. Good to know. Sorry about that. I was wondering, because I was looking for the asterisk somewhere, but I couldn't find it on that page. Yeah, and also, if you look, if you actually look on your ship sheet, you have fuel bunkers, you have fuel scoops already. Oh, so we can... So a normal ship can do... Oh, I didn't know we had a fuel scoop. So a normal ship can do one... Fuel and ours can do two. Yeah, that's why you can do jump twice. Two hexes. Oh, I thought I thought twice was normal. I haven't really looked at the ship stuff, so that's why I don't know as much. I see. Well, yeah, upgrading some stuff might. Might be a good way to spend some cash. Yeah, at some point. But, but if we have school fuel scoops, that's a good thing to know. We have a ship locker. There's, for... there's also the issue with the uh, the power and space because you only have so much. Ah, does this also have all that bullshit? I hate that bullshit. Sorry. 
Yeah, which is why I took a uh, pre-made ship mm-hmm. rather than put something together myself. Okay, good. All right, so we have enough space. It looks like we don't have enough power, maybe. All right. Good to know. All right. So, um, yeah, you go find some rumors. It probably takes you maybe an hour, and then you get the, a text message. Then. All right, what does the text say? What did the text say? Well, I oh, forget the text was a lie. The text was 200k, apparently, not 20k. All right, Ben, your, your phone uh, gives you the beeping noise for a text message, and then it's just an empty message <laughs> from some from a uh, hidden number. Let's go with that. I must be tripping again. <laughs> You're always tripping. All right, well, if that's the case. All right, so now you have the general idea of what's going on, hopefully. So what's the plan? Well, then? It's roughly like maybe 9, 9 foot or something. Um, I may have not been half paying attention. Can I get a TLDR, Ben? Oh yeah, my bad. Um, yeah, so we met up, so I uh, tell you, it seems that the fighting has mostly ended in the capital, and um, uh, and so things are starting to settle down there, but the fighting is uh, still getting pretty intense in the um, sort of outer parts. Sort of the um, nobles' estates are uh, getting lit up pretty bad. Uh, the, ones as- that, the ones that, you know, separate themselves, correct? Yeah. And um, and then as far as for the no fly zone, uh, the port should be open again, uh, or th- there's no telling when the port is going to be open. But um, uh, if we get permission from uh, the king, we should be able to leave. We have to be in, in good standing with him, though. Ah, ah, good. So we should go. We have to talk to the king. You see. Ah, okay. Sounds good. Uh, I wonder how much money they're losing by not having the spaceport open. Probably a lot. Yeah, I mean, who knows? But uh, the way I see it is we might be here for months unless we can um, figure out a way to uh, get permission. So either we get permission or we look for another job here. Yep. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's get back to... Uh, I can teleport it back to the warehouse, see if Broda's awake, maybe take a break of ourselves, and then talk about what all we'll do. Unless you have any other business here. That sounds good to me. All right. Yeah, and I'll take Ben and teleport us back to the warehouse. Maybe, you know, see if Ben... Bro, see if Broda's awake. If not, you know, we'll just walk around a bit, relax. Trying to think of what to do next. Maybe one wants to speak to the king. Maybe want to find another job. Right. So Brody, you are abruptly woken up by the large sound of this place there yet again as someone teleports in the near vicinity. Very inconsiderate. <laughs> you know what? So rude. Maybe I was far enough away he didn't hear it, huh? Maybe I teleported outside and I walked in. Can you just assume that I was being rude? That, that doesn't sound like something you would do, honestly. I mean, it doesn't. It's not something I would do, because I, I did teleport right in. Not thinking about it. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, but Brody, you wake up by a uh, sound of Val and Ben. Arriving. Ah, good morning, Brody. Is it morning? Nah, it's it's always morning in New Eden or night, I guess. So it doesn't really matter. No, it's night. You've been asleep for a few hours, not too long. We went, dropped off the 
so glad to be awake. Uh, try our best to accommodate. Um, so we dropped off our uh, cargo at the ship, but uh, the starport is not open, and we have no idea when it'll open. It seems that we can go speak to the king and you know maybe get some permission to get out of here or look for another job. Uh, what, what are you feeling like we should do? Wouldn't hurt to try and see if we can get permission to leave. But in... You say that now. When it comes down to it, we're just going to be doing jobs somewhere else, so... Yeah, so... I mean, we could always, like like you said, we could try and leave, because we do have a... Uh, the cargo is worth about 200k for transporting it to Calixus, so that's already guaranteed money on our contract. Um, unfortunately, until we can leave, that money is in holding. So we would have to find some other odd jobs to do. If you guys want, we can go speak to the king tomorrow morning and you know rest up for the rest of the night or maybe go looking for something to do at night because you know everybody's awake in New Eden at all times. The city never sleeps. So, but yeah, go ahead. What, oh, nothing. What we were saying. Oh, sorry, go ahead. That's all I had to say about that. All right, I thought someone else was going to cut in and say something. No, I might have hit a key by accident. Uh, I think I did by accident. So, Val, can you roll me a no plus intelligence? Oh, sure. Plus two for this. Oh my god. Thank you for trying to help me. Um, there's my skills. No. Yeah, plus no plus intelligence. intelligence. Okay. So that's a uh, 10. Sorry, I keep forgetting to put the modifier. Yeah, you know that while the, um, the, the people in the hangar that talk to the king, you have a sneaking suspicion in the back of your head that it's actually the, the Chamber of Commerce or uh, some member of the Chamber of Commerce that you're going to be uh, having words with if you can lift the, the, the or get permission to uh, to undock and leave. Mm -hmm. Either Chamber of Commerce or Ministry of Tran Transportation. Okay. One, uh, one question is, do I know, uh, my family is not in any bad things with the king, right? We haven't, I mean, as far as I been, know, right? As far as you know, none of your family has been, you know, called out or, uh, you know, disowned in public by the royal family, so okay. there shouldn't be any issues. Okay, just There might sure. be some uh, stained reputation because, you know, one of the other bigger families have a grudge against you. Yeah, but, yeah, you they know, do. That might not be the... I so don't know why, but... Something, something with the king, so... Yeah, okay. So, Actually, yeah. fuck it. With, with a 10, I'll say, you know, you need to, to seek permission from the, the Chamber of Commerce. They okay. deal with all of this stuff. All right, then I'll, uh, you know, I'll let, uh, while I was telling Brody that we have to speak to King, we have to, I make sure to clarify to both of them that, yeah, we have to speak with uh, someone in the Chamber of Commerce to, uh, to you know, get, get our ban lifted so we can actually fly out of here. Now, it is 9 o'clock, so I don't know if they're working. They might be partying, as they do every night. And like I said before, we might have to wait until morning at working hours. But for tonight, what do you guys want to do? You guys want to just relax? Or you guys want to go check out the nightlife? Maybe just have some fun? Maybe look for a job if you guys really want to get some more money. I'm up for anything. I think I might be up for going back to sleep again. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll wake you up. Okay. Can I get earplugs? I mean, it's certainly possible. <laughs> you can get some fuzzy anime earplugs. No. 
<laughs> with tentacles coming out of your ears. Hard, no. <laughs> what? Did you say hard no, man? I would have enjoyed that. Ah, oh, sorry. I need some good God-fearing matte black earplugs. Yeah, you can scrounge up some earplugs or some hearing protection if you want. Probably a couple of them left from the previous owners. Ben, what do you want to do? There's a whole slew of things we can do tonight. I think I am going to um, basically uh, get get a good amount of sleep after uh, after talking to people, and uh, you know get uh, get a good early start on the next morning. That sounds good. Uh, for me, I know I called. I said I called for some psychics for my organizations to you know come and see if they can figure out what's wrong with my sister and some doctors to, you know, try and help her out. Did I ever get those? I mean, did, were you bringing them out to the warehouse or did you teleport your sister somewhere more comfortable? I, I was going to bring them out to the warehouse. Did I, get any, like, did, did I get a reply from them when they're ready for yeah, me to get they, them? It sounds like maybe two, two or three. Sorry, what? Then maybe two or three specialists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because yeah, I want to know what, why she was kidnapped. Because, like you said, we hadn't done anything yet. So, I can't imagine why she would have been kidnapped. So, I want to know that information. All right. Yes, yeah, so you okay. bring them to the warehouse where she's hanging out and they give her some proper treatment. Mm -hmm. And before, you know, before the psychic goes prodding in her brain, can she speak? Can she tell me what happened? Any, anything that can help? I mean, you know, as much as I told you before, that's, oh. that's what she remembers. If I get a psychic to prod in there, can she find anything extra? Like look through her eyes, maybe see things that... Yeah, if, if I roll well enough, yeah. yeah. I can so what what should I roll? Connect or... To get someone yeah, good. So, yeah, so connect with Free wisdom, know, intelligence. Yeah, wisdom, I think. Wisdom, okay. Connect with wisdom. Uh connect. Okay, eight. I like those rolls today. Which I don't mind. I mean, I would have preferred a double one, but that's just me. You know what? I've already hit a few of those in this playthrough. I mean, it just makes for good memories, right? <laughs> sure, there's always bad I memories mean, after those I mean, ones. I mean, sure, I'm, I'm sure there is someone who's having a good time with double ones. Oh, of course. All right, so you... um. You hear a couple of people specializing in, in this sort of thing, and they're willing to uh, make a house call, quote unquote, to uh, help out. Yep. All right, yeah. I'm going to try and get one of those. Roll me the speed would be 2D3, please. Yeah, so it would cost Your you double two. ones. Yeah, now that now that was good. So yeah, it's gonna oh. cost you twenty thousand to bring them out. Twenty thousand? I don't have anyone in my organization. I was thinking someone in my organization, not someone that's twenty thousand. Well, you said you wanted a specialist, and for the specialist, right? Anyone, Do I have to pay with my money? What can I pay with my company someone, money? Someone has to pay. Right. And seeing as you're in charge of your company's finances, you're the one yeah. paying. All right, for, for 20000 I think I'll use my company finances, to, you know, because this is company-related, to try and figure out what the hell's going on with my sister and why she was kidnapped.
Can I be a specialist healer? For 20,000 more pop? Brody can be a no, specialist if it, handyman? If it was, was 20,000 a pop, that would be 40,000 because you have two of them. Right, I have marked that off. Yeah, you uh, spend some company credit and uh, yeah, you get two specialists to come out and have a look at it. Oh, is it two specialists? Okay, yeah. Sorry. Oh, what's one of the specialists for? I only need the psychic specialist. Yeah, I mean, the one is to, to treat the mental trauma and the other one is uh, to recover the memory. So all the, right. the, the, the stuff that so you can therapist. do... Yeah, a psychic therapist, basically. The stuff you can do heals the, the physical body. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Phys physical body and then you have a then you hired a specialist that heals the, the, the mental so. Alright, so yeah. Let's get a therapist for twenty fucking thousand. God damn therapist. How does money. that make you feel? <laughs> I fucking hate therapist. Hey, here's twenty thousand. Just just tell me how you feel. Mm, interesting, interesting. Did your father touch you when you were little? No? Okay, okay. 